guys welcome back to the channel uh today out on another auction adventure hastings michigan expo center uh this is a uh, an estate auction lots of glass uh antiques pottery stuff like that um this is actually a half cataloged half uncatalogued auction not usually my kind of sale but the catalog is usually it's fairly low i think it's only a couple i guess i think it's like 200 cataloged items so we'll try to get through that and then uh then it's a whole bunch of uncatalogued which i'm hoping they split off into two rings um i'm actually really excited for this one today because the glass stuff we've been talking about it for quite a while of getting into glass a little more because we've been selling quite a bit of it at the store some of the nice fenton uh depression stuff usually the more really intricate murano glass we've been selling quite a bit of it so i'm actually on the lookout for more of that stuff um so this one is going to be a pretty good auction to get to i got my mom with me today i'm actually i'm parked not even driving i'm parked <laughs> so uh so i'm all safe today i'm actually have somebody with me so that's helpful so yeah no worries there uh but this is going to be a fun one i think i think we're going to be able to get a couple things out of here because it's not necessarily that high end like that last auction we're at the high end signs and clocks and stuff like that so let's get inside we'll show you everything that's there i'm going to try something new today because i get here people hear me saying i can't always hear me when i talk when i walk around because it's kind of weird if i'm by myself especially to talk really loud enough for you guys but while also not looking like the crazy guy talking into his phone so i'm going to try this today i'm going to be actually recording without me talking and then i'm going to go and voice over it afterwards so i can actually go through and talk about certain pieces as i'm walking through i can voice over it while i'm editing so let me know how that sounds and if it sounds better than when i'm actually walking and talking so um yeah just let me know what you guys think of that as well because that's something I'm, I'm gonna be trying to trying out new today so let's get inside we'll show you everything and hopefully we come home with some stuff today and you know add to the shop so let's go in and we'll talk to you guys soon see you later all right guys let's see uh, if this works out better for everybody make sure you can hear me um not a lot of stuff uh that was not cataloged at this auction i really wanted to get those birds right there uh the bird ornaments i thought were really cool pieces uh they just didn't come up fast enough and it was getting late into the auction and i got a lot of good stuff out of this sale as you guys will see at the end so i really didn't want to stay around too long for those because that's more of uh three four dollar items and that's just a lot of time to waste for a small amount of items or small dollar items um but yeah i like this i like i think voiceovers can be better i can kind of look back at the auction too those glass fruits right there i really like those again those didn't come up in time either uh it was getting late in the day and i had to get home at a certain time so those glass fruits are something i definitely would have been looking at i thought those things were very very cool i um, mean we do sell quite a bit at the store um a lot of the furniture well, we didn't go over and look that way. Like I said, I apologize. First time doing this in a while. So uh, give me a little break on that. <laughs> uh, very cool clocks. Uh, clocks are always tough to buy at auction just because you don't know if they work. You don't know if they're clean. You don't know anything about them. So it's tough to find out what works, what doesn't work. Um, so I do try to avoid those unless the price is really good. Um, let's see as we roll through here. If I do a go sound on there, those are the that's a last right uh, hanging frame. Usually the insides are uh, they have pieces on the inside. Uh, that, those were missing it, but I still really like that piece. I, I wasn't able to get it though, but those were very, uh, very, very cool piece. I actually wanted for myself. Uh, let's see what else we're looking at. A lot of stained glass there today. Man, there was some gorgeous stained glass. Uh, most of it went higher than what I was going to pay for just because we don't sell a ton of it. I like it. There's, uh, you know, just kind of cool pieces I like, but... You know, I said I wasn't going to overspend on it either. Uh, this Japan uh, spice tin or uh, right there was so cool. Uh, that went for a really high price. I think it was about $125 because I probably won't even put prices up no more. I think this voiceover is going to allow me to just tell you guys the prices and hopefully you listen. <laughs> um, but yeah, furniture wise, nothing really too impressive. There was some, there was a couple nice pieces, but nothing that was, I usually go for the unique furniture items and I didn't see too much of it there. There was one bench coming up I really liked, but you know, it went too high, which I figured it would. A lot of that mission style stuff, you know, always goes pretty high. Yep, the old newspaper books, those just don't sell. We don't sell them enough to go after them, so we had to avoid that one. 
Globes are always a good buy if I can get them for like ten dollars or less. But anything more than that is just way the, the price mar the, the margins too much. Uh, bicycle license plates, very popular, highly collectible. Something I always look for. Um, able not wasn't able to get that one. That was a really that went for a good price. So wasn't able to get that. Lamps, always a sucker for lamps, but I've been trying to avoid them lately. Uh, we just don't sell enough of them at the store, but man, there are so many cool, unique lamps out there. Uh, I just didn't get a chance to get that one. That guy right there, I really liked, loved that toucan. You might be seeing that at the end of the video. I love that thing, made out of paper mache. Really, really cool. Mom getting in the way a little bit. <laughs> Uh, the Santa was really cool, but again, Amber's been trying to be a little more uh, careful on what she's buying for her Christmas stuff because we got quite a bit of stuff, but that was a cool piece. Anything Halloween like that, I, went, I, I was bidding on that as well. I bid on both of them. I lost out on it. The Santa went for 20 The pumpkin went for 30 if I remember correct. Just way more than I could pay for those, especially even for myself. Amber would have slapped me upside the head. Oh, very cool weather vane. You might see that at the end of the video. Uh, Carl, if you're listening, which I know you are, uh, right there was some piano rolls. I have been looking for you, uh, but those did go uh, with that player and went way more than I can pay for them. I can get piano rolls pretty cheap, and those went pretty high, so I couldn't get those. Now, with everything coming up here, this is all quack medical equipment. Now, this is all the old school back in the day. They come up with some crazy ways to... Uh, cure some you know ales that you were having and man they were some weird ones a lot of them vibrating massage stuff uh yeah just really weird stuff there's also some battery stuff battery slide projectors i mean there are some very off the wall things that were cataloged that were out there that i thought were really cool but again went for 20 to 40 dollars and that's just way more than i can even you know take a chance on i really liked this picture um it didn't come up in time uh, before i had to leave but i just I, I'm, I'm a really big fan of the old religious items and i did i actually will have something at the end of the video i can show you that i did get but this is just one of the really cool things that popped up the old religious items that were at this auction um some pictures that are coming up i can show you that were so cool i cannot wait to show you guys i love doing this voiceover please comment throw in the comment section what you guys think i think this voiceover thing is so much better i can actually you know talk to you guys a little better than um <laughs> before because before it's always tough talking at an auction you guys would be surprised how hard it is to talk at an auction this way i can at least stop and look at the stuff and it makes it a little easier to go back over it again but this is more of that quack medical equipment and um, other things as well, the ultraviolet rays. And like I said, there was some pretty weird stuff there. Very cool stuff. But again, it just got to the price range where I just wasn't sure if I could make money off it. And if I, if I get that feeling, I always pass on it. Yeah, hope you guys don't hear no background noise. There's a bunch of uh, asphalt being put in by my house. But if you don't hear it, great. But just letting you know if you do hear it, that's the noise. Yeah, there was a bunch of records. Uh, the Cylinder Records, the uh, Victrolas. They just don't sell for a lot, man. These went for, I think, about 40, 30 to 40 bucks. Just not a lot of money in those Victrolas. This is a really nice wardrobe right there, that oak. That thing went for about three fifty. Uh, that was a really cool piece. Uh, I thought uh, it looked down there, and I had those those with the holes in the bottom. I thought it had something to do with pool sticks, but nope, I was wrong. I figured it was a wardrobe, but then those holes on the bottom of that door really uh, caught me off guard. Uh, this bench was one I did bid on, but it went for about three. No, no, it went for like one seventy five. Uh, so yeah, it just wasn't something I could bid that much on. That's just. Way too much. And furniture doesn't sell the fastest. It needs to be a really nice piece. And to try to get anything more than that 175 off of that was going to be tough. Yep, there's usually two sides to the auction. So I had to get to their side over here. Um, a lot of on this side was a lot of pottery and glass. Uh, that thing right there, that, old Victor, that only went for $25. That was a really good price on that. Uh, chair went really high. A lot of those, like I said, a lot of Mission, uh, Stickley Brothers uh, stuff went really high. That right there, uh, old spool cabinet went for 300 That thing was really cool. 
Uh, that's an old uh, organ, toy organ, tin. Uh, that went for, gosh, if I remember right, that was like 175 Very cool piece. Uh, you know, um, let me see here. What else do we got? That stained glass. Tell me, guys, that stained glass is gorgeous. That stuff went for about one twenty-five a uh, panel. Uh, oh man, such cool pieces. That stained glass is stuff I really, really dig. But just very fragile stuff. That I don't really like taking a chance on if it ends up breaking or whatnot. Just not my thing. A lot of Roseville at this auction. Tons of Roseville. Most of it went for about thirty to seventy-five dollars. Nothing too nuts, but. Again, just the market's not great for Roseville right now, so I can't be out there, you know, spending a bunch of money on it. Uh, the the pinup posters went for more than I could spend. Again, I think there was about fifteen to twenty bucks on those. Um, yep, I really like the owl cookie jar. Again, it didn't come up in time. I had to leave about two o'clock to get home, and I missed out on a few things. This thing is the coolest thing I've bought at an auction in a while. A little spoiler for the end there. I did get the African statue where it looks like they chopped off the head and he's naked. It's I really surprised the girls when I came home with that thing. They were <laughs> they didn't know what to do, that's for sure. But a lot of pottery. Like it's just the Roseville, just gorgeous. No chips. It was all really nice stuff. But again, when it gets into that $35 to $50, $60 range, yeah, there's probably a little money there, but I just don't like taking that chance because pottery is just not a hot, at least, at least Roseville pottery is not a hot seller right now. I did get a piece of pottery that I'll show you at the end of the video that I, I really liked and got a really good price on. But um, other than that, it was, like I said, it was tough sledding with the pottery today. Yep, clear glass. Just can't do much with clear glass, even cut glass clear. It's all stuff that's just too hard to move, so I just don't even touch it, barely look at it. Uh, there's one piece of leaded crystal glass I'm going to show you guys up here. It's at the front of this auction that was just, I bid on it, and it was one of the coolest pieces of cut clear glass I've seen, and man, it was just absolutely gorgeous. It was a, It was a really beautiful piece. But yeah, the stuff right here, I get calls about it weekly, guys. Clear glass just does not sell. There is just nothing I can do with it. I can't buy it for anything worthwhile. It's, you know, because I can't sell it. So I just, you know, I just good to know. Watch out for that clear glass because it's, uh, it's not a great seller and it's hard to move. So I don't like buying it and customers don't like it either, I guess. Yep, bottles didn't come up uh, before I left. Those are, you know, those are, you know, those are small little chum prize. You know, you get them for five, sell them for ten, kind of thing. Nothing, nothing too nuts. Yeah, we're getting to the end. Usually, I walk the uh, the good stuff, but the the end of the usually the walk is usually the really really good stuff that's up front. That's going up at the beginning of the auction. That's really good. Uh, these you'll find at every one of his auctions lately. Yeah, my guess is he bought a bunch of these signs somewhere because they're usually at every auction. Just the same signs. He must have bought a big bulk of them because there is uh, always the same ones there. I found uh, the shell one I bought in Battle Creek was at this one. Like I said, there's he must have bought a big lot of the same signs and is trying to sell them off. So, But if you get them for 5 bucks or less, you can always sell them for 10 15 bucks all day. That's not a problem at all. Yep, just getting through the uh, the lesser of the stuff. Nothing too big here. Um, I didn't look under right there under the uh, cardboard, but that was a Paps Blue Ribbon beer mirror, which was really cool. That again sold for about sixty bucks, I think, just more than I would have spent. Uh, there's a bunch of surveying equipment up here. Uh, those are what those tripods are for. Uh, more stained glass. You'll see a lot. Real, some really cool religious pieces up here. Framework, part artwork, uh, pictures. Just really nice pieces. That was really cool. Like that uh, thing to the right there. That was also that, that's like a weaved um, memorial feel. But right there is a, a stationary thing with the stamps and notebooks. I mean, it was that was a. I've never seen one like that. Very very cool piece.
swords and bayonets stuff i don't know a ton about don't usually try to go after them unless you get them for a good price that was the creme de la creme of the stained glass that's just that was a gorgeous piece oh man look at that thing that's the the, the work that goes into those are just really really cool I always thought this picture, this picture up here, is a, it's an old religious picture, but the frame is a big money. But the art, obviously, I'm sure the, the picture and the art is worth it too, but that frame is huge and gorgeous. <laughs> that was a really nice frame. And the butterfly display, those always sell. I think that one sold for about 45 these right here, two more religious pieces. And I, got, I know I got shadowed on them, and you really can't see them because they shine really well. Man, those things were really gorgeous. I wish I could have got them without the the, the shadow of myself on them. <laughs> I, I actually walked past a piece of art there to the left of that blue one. That thing sold for about $2,500. My guess, an original art piece. Uh, this thing right here is another weird one. Uh, dead bodies on it. Uh, it was really, really weird. But I thought i really liked it again it was signed i think it was up to 100 uh, limited edition sold for more than what i was going to pay for it i'm not uh i'm not an artwork expertise or expert uh more beautiful glass like i said i was in on all the glass i just didn't get a chance to get any of it that was at least none of that um yeah more cylinder records those things went for really high which figured they would that's the stuff right there guys that purple amethyst whoo look at that that is gorgeous you want some beautiful pieces of glass that stuff right there oh man love that stuff that's that whoo that was probably the nicest piece of glass i seen there that day that was gorgeous got some mantle lusters those went about 125 um again just more than what we can do with them if you guys always wonder why I can't buy everything, that's just sometimes the prices go high, and once it cuts close to what you can sell it for, that just makes it really tough to work with. And I just don't even don't even try to entertain it. I go to enough auctions, I don't try to uh, you know overspend if I don't have to. But as you guys can see, there's some really nice glass here, vases, pottery. Uh, it was a really nice auction. Right here, coming up, this uh, top right corner, you guys will see there. That's a cut glass punch bowl. The, the, when, it, when it went under the light, it just, that thing was amazing. I was in on it, but I think it went for 125 Just, again, more than I could spend for it. I would have probably tried to keep that for myself, but I don't drink punch enough to, to make it worth my while. <laughs> Yeah, more nice class. Always got to go around people at the auction. Don't try to be get no one's face on the camera or nothing. Even though I'm sure they won't care, but I don't try to do that. Try to be respectful. Uh, coming up here is a bunch of surveying equipment. Uh, these sold for around 100, 125 for most pieces. Some that went a little more. Again, just nothing, nothing there for me. You know, and if I'm going to spend that much money, I want to make sure I can actually make the item you know display well and these just don't display well in my opinion and people would be you know i don't really think they would you know garner the attention that was you know worth spending the money for them so so yeah we passed on all those actually during the time there was about a 20 item uh run of just those surveyors and we just kind of went and got lunch because uh we knew we weren't going to be buying any of them that's for sure Then over here, a bunch of slide rulers. Uh, again, just more stuff that we just won't won't get in on, you know. So like I said we went and got a nice little bite to eat at the food truck, right in you know right by the, the auction place, and waited for that part to get done. But yeah, I was actually, like I said, I was very happy with this auction. And as you guys will see at the end, we got a really nice load out of this auction. So, you know, and it's not everything Roy's into. Uh, there's a dragon ashtray right there. If I get a better picture of it, hopefully. I mean, that's a nice clock. Uh, but again, not sure it worked, so I didn't want to chance it. But this is a dragon ashtray right here. Oh, of course, Mike, you didn't get it. Come on, you got to be better than that. That centennial table there went for about 1700 That's a fishbowl candle set. Went for like 600 
uh that thing was really really weird cool i guess i mean that's a weird fish tank display but it went for a good money those cast registers went for about 250 to 300 dollars, way more than i spent on mine i got such a good deal on my cast registers i mean that was nuts uh, all this pottery same prices 35 to 75 you know some might be a little more than that but Again, it just doesn't sell enough for me to spend that kind of money, so we had to pass on it. It just wasn't something that we could invest in today. We got some really cool spool cabinets coming up here. I can't wait to show you guys. Uh, that one right there was nice, but there's one at the end of this table that's really, really nice. Uh, my mom just picked up a spool table or a spool cabinet, uh, but it was more uh, more drawer, not much of this. But yeah, this one was really cool. Um, again, more pottery, a lot of Weller pottery, Roseville uh roy croft i mean just and then some of it's good big dollar pottery i know but i don't know enough about it i know a, a little bit about a little bit just not enough to spend the money that was going out there but look at this spool cabinet that thing was awesome that thing sold for about two five six hundred bucks if i remember right and 50 dollars there 60 dollars there 60 and 60 there 50 and 60 do you want 60 does anybody else want the pair at 60 dollars on 50 and 60 all done 50 there 60 70 70 but there 70 80 80 but there 80 yes or no 80 but there and 70 but there 80 dollars there 70 but there 80 sold 70 dollars you bought it thank you 100 you're the owner now we're on lot number 13 did you see a pair there donatello roseville that's what you're going to buy you need to 50 i have 50 there's 50, 10, 15, not 20, not 5. I got 20 and 25, 20 but there, 25, but if it wasn't 25, and 20 but there, 25 dollars there, 20 but there, 25, but if it wasn't 20 but there, 25, so 20 dollars you got it, 3,001 you bought it. Thank you, you were the owner. Donatello, care more, coming up here, 25 dollars one, 10 dollars to go, 15 to go for the pair. I got 10 dollars there, 15, you want in 15, 10, 15, that's a bargain, 10 dollars there, 15. Does anybody else want in 10 dollars there, 15, what do you say, 15 but there, 20 but there's 20 and 15 but there 20 and 20 but there 15 and 20 and 20 but there 15 and 20 sold 15 you got it thank you three thousand all right, well, Amber forgot to turn off the radio. I'm blaming her, even though it was my fault, too. So we got to do all this during the, uh, <laughs> we got a voiceover again. So we did get the African statue, paid $25, will sell it for $150, possibly more. We got to get, <laughs> yeah, Amber, we had to show the penis, of course, but we I had to do more research on this to see what we actually have here. This thing, I might even stay home. We'll see. Uh, the toucan paid $10, will sell for about $45, if not a little more. Paper mache, really cool piece. Really like that one. Um, next up, we got the uh, weather vane. I think I paid a little too much on this, $25. i am going to try to get $50 out of it. I just kind of liked it. I thought it was cool. Uh, next up, we're going to look at the uh, purple amethyst glass, my favorite thing I got by far. Absolutely gorgeous. The camera doesn't do it justice. Beautiful stuff. Uh, those four pieces right there on eBay sell for about 110 But then you got the butter dish, a nice big bowl beside it. Really, really cool pieces. And then we got the McCoy basket, paid five. That's an easy 30 bucks. No chips, no cracks. That was the, one of our steals of the day, only paying five bucks for a beautiful piece like that. Uh, gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, next up, we got the two vases. This one right here, we got at the end of the auction we, when I was there, two bucks, easy 15. Easy money, guys, I'm telling you. Reselling, it's all about that easy money like that. This thing was a nice Art Deco vase. That thing is super heavy, super heavy. Uh, easy money right there as well, 15 bucks. We're really happy to get it for that price. I forgot what these are called. This nice religious piece here, my mom hates being on camera. So, of course, she's going to get her on camera. But my mom hates being on camera, as you can tell. Look at a cover in her face, hates it. Nice religious piece. Piece, paid 10 easy 45 bucks i think it's an incense burner uh, you put the incense in there it comes to the top they walk around the church with it it comes out there as you can see me trying to talk there but again again forgot to put the radio off so didn't want to get copyrighted on the video but yeah guys that's our video today man i was so happy with everything we got what a good auction i was just think it was so many great things there and i was got pretty much everything i wanted i got so i was very very happy um yeah man i said i really appreciate all you guys watching i at that time i'm coughing because amber bought a sub and i kept getting it caught in my throat again these voiceovers let me know in the comment section what you guys think about the voiceovers but thank you guys all so much for watching do those great things those likes comments subscribe shares all those great things guys much appreciated and again in those comment sections let me know about the voiceover and if that's better i'm going to keep doing it because i don't mind doing it this way because i'm a talker everybody tells me so if you guys get some time come out and see us get your antique fix 
on M66. A little off on that, but hey, guys, we'll see you later. Have a good time. <laughs>